I'm so excited to show you what is right here. Now, this is my favorite company ever, Trick or Treat Studios. I deal with Trick or Treat Studios with a lot of the prop replicas. They put out like the one-on-one -on -one scales from my favorite movies. Um, I buy a lot of their masks and um, from all of my favorite franchises and I bought some other bips and bobs from them. I think like a lot of like, um, what is called resin busts that they do, they do really good quality work. Um, if you haven't known these guys, these guys do like, um, they get molds from like the actual movies themselves, like the screen use props, and then they actually um, hand sculpt them all, paint them all by hand, and they do some really cool shit. So here we go. So this mask, I was waiting for it to become back in stock. It was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003 Leatherface mask. Um, it was sold out for the, like the longest time. Now there was two actual masks that they had. It was the, the first one they pumped out, didn't have like really good paint job work and like it was missing some hair. So that was like the first one they picked out. Um, and then this one, they actually really delivered it. It was actually pretty much identical to like the, like the mask that they used in like the, um, the movie. So this was about $59.99 US dollars with tech, with Canadian conversion. That's about a hundred, um, hundred dollars with shipping and handling. I've never had a problem with how they pack things. Everything is always UPS, which is which I prefer, but I also don't like paying duty fees. Um, but UPS, they get it delivered to your doorstep in one piece pretty much, except for when you deal with Canada Post, you end up having it kicked around like it went through a whole football field. So here we go. And ba bam So this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003 Leatherface Mask. I am obsessed with this film. This is actually one of my favorite films. Um, I don't mind the other Leatherfaces, but this one has like, um, for some reason, I've got a hard on for it. I have no idea why. I think it was because of Jessica Biel. I have no problem with Jessica Biel. I really like her um, her acting. She hasn't been in much lately. I know she was in that Seventh Heaven, but when she did the, um, uh, I, I consider her a final girl because she actually survived in this movie if you haven't seen it she actually survived and she actually really did a really good job um but yeah so um there was two killers that there, there was two people cast for this role uh brett wagner which i have his autograph downstairs on a leatherface funko pop so he was actually supposed to be the original leatherface for this film but he ended up passing out from heat exhaustion so he ended up being rushed to the hospital so he couldn't fulfill the rest of the film um so he actually shot one of the one of the um like one scene which was called the Kemper Kill and then on the Funko Pop I have downstairs it actually says Kemper Kill uh, like the lost leather phase um, so he strikes Kemper in the head which is Jessica Biel's boyfriend and that's like what opens the film where he uses I guess one um, like not this specific phase but you'll see it if you watch the film like he cuts off Kemper's face and then he wears it and he becomes like the first like like it's his first kill like his first phase um, and then, so Andrew Bernarski played this role and he did a really good job. I, he's actually played like um, several other leather faces in the other films. I think he played in the beginning, I think. And then um, I think one other one, um, but they had different multiple casts. It, it honestly depends, like it's up to you if you prefer like height or like body mass or whatever, like the difference between like how he plays the role. But I think Andrew Bernarski always is like the original one for me. In the so, beginning, has that McConaughey <clears throat> in it? I, I no no the beginning and has Jordana Brewster and not not Matthew McConaughey no it's one of the ones with um Bond girl I can't remember her name I don't I don't remember but no Jordana Brewster I was really rooting for her in the beginning because she was actually um supposed to like she actually looked like she was doing it and then it sucks because I think like yeah Leatherface was in the back of the car and then he ended up sawing her in half like through the stomach and then so she ended up dying so technically Jessica Biel is the only one um that survived out of this one and then there's the 1974 one with that marlin burns girl she survived and that was actually pretty good that was actually based off of the um the leatherface game that i have downstairs installed it's actually pretty fun you guys like it's really sick but yeah I'll show you the other one <clears throat> with matthew mcconaughey yeah you'll have to um so let's do a close-up on the face so they did a really good job so if you have like the original one that they put out the first time you can see the paint job difference as well as the hair like they didn't color the hair properly i think the hair was more like of a like a chestnut color and this one they had two tones to it so they did a really good job more of like a caramel color versus a <clears throat> like a dark brunette 
this is more screen accurate if you can tell and it's very like very thick if you if you ever get this it's very thick inside and i don't know if it would fit my head but it's yeah so it tells you right here like this is like the normal thing i leave these on all of my masks because like why not like it's like limited edition and it tells you how to like handle and care for this i don't i have this put away specifically in like a glass cabinet um, which is dust proof. So I normally I get my mannequin head, which I got downstairs and I black it out with like a black t shirt that I bought and then it so it blacks out the eyes. And then I put the mask over the mannequin head. And so when you guys see my room tour downstairs, I, I normally have like mask and figure type thing. But this one because it's 2000 like this one I have like the figurine downstairs from trick or treat studios, which is the I think the 1 16th scale. Um, so I, I don't know, um, I don't think I'm going to take that one out of the box, but I do have some things, figures that I'm going to put inside of it that's, um, uh, that I purchased recently. So you're going to have to, you're going to see it. So I create kind of like a, like a little figurine type cube. Um, but yeah, I have kind of like a little theme going on downstairs. Here's the, um, different types yeah, of the hair. different types of hair. Off it's the different people. Yeah. I think it's sewn in. Yeah, it's sewn in. I think the last one that they had, I think they, they glued like, it. they glued it and it wasn't the greatest, but it, it is missing some here, which is normal because, like, to be honest with you, I don't think Leatherface was really working on, like, the hairstyle. I think he was more worried about putting on his fucking face. And then what, wasn't this, um, wasn't okay. this, like, what serial killers was? Isn't that? Ed Gaines. Yeah, that guy. So, like, it was, it's kind of based off of a true story, but I don't know if this is actually really true. Was it really true, like... Like, 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 like the story, wasn't there like a guy down there, like killing people and shit? Like, like Ed Gaines was, what, was that the guy or was, or did I always think that Leatherface was actually real? No, it's was based he on downstairs? Ed Gaines and Amityville and some other horror movie. They're all like linked together to this. Okay, so then there wasn't, I, I, to me, my stupid ass probably thought like a long time ago when I was a kid that like Leatherface was actually real and I thought like the family was crazy out there, but I guess not. Well, they say, when they say that, when they the movie opens, yeah, they, they but I don't know like if, it's it, real. if it's real. Or I don't it's know just it based is. on Ed Gaines making a face of his mother. I don't know, taking but... Taking her skin and sewing it and putting it on. I don't know. They did a really good job. I like the, I like the, like, the staples. It looks sick. Like, the staples... The, are, these, are these supposed to be staples or sewn? No, they look like they're just sewn. Sta staples or sewn? sewn? I don't know. I don't know, but they look... It looks really good. They did a really good job. I prefer this one, hands down. Um, but, yeah, so... Stay tuned when I guys take you through my whole basement, you guys will see like my different, like my vision that I have in store. I'm waiting for Trick or Treat Studios to release the um, uh, five piece table set with, which is the original 1974 cast with like the cook and everything. I'm really excited for that. This was like announced like not even last, like it was last year and they haven't put it up for pre-order yet. I'm also waiting for the Thanksgiving mask to come out which is from like the Thanksgiving movie with um Eli Roth that he did it I'm thinking about getting like the original one versus the burnt mask um and I just if you've seen in my pr prior videos I had the um ultimate John Carver figure so I'm gonna be creating like a mask with like two figures so like stay tuned because I have some really cool shit along the way like you guys are gonna be really shocked so unfortunately um not just this last film but I have one more thing to shoot until stuff starts being released unfortunately sadly um i'll try my best to keep up with the videos and not keep you guys completely bored but unfortunately because i'm waiting for companies to release their things in like september october november like you got a little bit long way to wait for like the shit that i have in store but stay tuned i have some real quality shit so tell me what you guys think ciao for now